Okay, so now there is uh, other operations such as uh, delete and update. Okay, so this was to like the when the new contacts uh, are getting inserted, having account IDs, then it would check and associated accounts would uh, get updated. And now uh, we have like um, uh, update scenario, scenario, and what your update scenario tells us like from. Uh, so there could be some scenarios like first uh, first is from account from like contact contacts account ID is changed to another account ID okay second thing contacts account ID is updated to null and third is uh, um, contact with no account ID is updated to uh, have uh, updated to have associated with an account ID ok so our first scenario would be from account to account means account ID is being changed and from account to null is the second case third case is null to account okay so these three scenarios are there for our update uh, trigger okay so uh, if trigger dot is update contact trigger handler dot handle update operations uh, trigger dot new and uh, um, trigger dot uh, old map because this uh, that is why we could check for our account to account scenario and account to null scenario with the help of old map and in the handle update operations let us create this so list of contact new list and map of id with contact uh, old map okay so now let us say we are uh, working with the uh, first uh, so now what we would be using is I would be creating two sets set of ID uh, that is old map account IDs uh, as equal to new set of ID and set of ID is a uh, new updated contacts is equal to new set of id so why i took new uh, two maps so uh, now first let me explain you the case number one that i told you that is moving from uh, account to account okay so now account to account let us say the first account that was having three contacts okay now one contact is moved to another account so uh, on the other account is initially having three contacts and this account was having five contacts so when uh, a contact uh, was sent from this account to here so this account was left with two contacts and this account was updated with six contacts so we have to manage both of them this one also and this one also so that is why i have to uh, check for both the things okay uh, so now what we would be doing is 
uh, if new list is not equal to null okay if uh, no now i would be looping over this list for contact c in new list um, if c dot account id is not equal to null okay so now we are checking the uh, contact account id uh, is not equal to null that means uh, it has been associated to some another account and how it would be uh, mm, uh, fulfilled is like we would be checking if c dot uh, account id then that is the new list is not equal to uh, c dot old oh, oops c dot old map dot get uh, c dot id dot account id okay so that means both the accounts have been changed so i would be doing new updated contacts dot and c dot id uh, sorry c dot account id okay and uh, if uh, and i am getting the old map value as well uh, so uh, if old map dot get uh, c dot id dot account id is not equal to null so what i would be doing is uh, i would be putting the value in the old map as well old map count id dot put c dot uh, no, uh, old map dot get old map dot get c dot id dot um, dot account id okay so in here i am um, adding the old map values so some error is thing variable does not exist old map account id huh? line number 33 and 37 variable does not exist old map uh, and it here would be a head and and this would be simple old map okay so uh, so okay so this is done so if c dot account id is not equal to uh, null okay so now what we would be saying is uh, the new list that is uh, the account id is set to null that means the second case account id is set to uh, null okay so we just to be doing is uh, old map account id dot uh, okay we would be first checking in this as well if old map dot get c dot id dot account id and it is old map value dot get c dot id dot account id is not equal to null so uh, again in the old map account id we would be uh, adding this same why because we are updating the account okay and this is uh, uh, done so uh, if new list is not equal to null that means uh, if we say that if our new list is null that means we are uh, using a delete operation right mm, uh, why because we are not uh, passing the contacts we are uh, just uh, deleting the contacts okay uh, that is the delete operation so uh, that would be catered in here all as well uh, why uh, because see if new list is not null so uh, we would be coming in our up update operation and if our new list comes null 
so this would work as our delete operation ok so for id i in uh, old map old map value dot key set ok uh, if uh, old map dot get if old map dot uh, old map value dot get i dot account id is not equal to null ok so we are checking that uh, in the old map uh, we are checking if the account id is null or not if it is not null so we would be doing is old map account id again same process so i would be writing it for you old map account id dot add uh, uh, old map value dot get uh, i dot account id ok uh, we are just uh, putting uh, in here the old map uh, values like for example the account that has been uh, sorry the contact that has been associated with an account so we have to update the contact as well for that now so that's why uh, we are uh, doing this uh, so what we would be doing is list of account to update is equal to new list of account ok and again using the aggregate query aggregate result ar in select account id as acc id uh, count of id as contact id from contact where where now we have to check where where account id in uh, old map account id or account id in uh, new updated contacts and we have to group by account id ok and again we have to follow the same process a dot id is equal to ar dot get ar dot get acc id and a dot contact total contacts is equal to string and ar dot get contact id and uh, to obtain dot add in this a and what you do is you write update to update so uh, a dot ok we have to parse this as well to id trigger dot is update or trigger dot is delete ok so this uh, would be your optimized code for account to count the total number of contacts associated with an account so let us try this out uh, for here we are just having the total contacts nothing so i would be writing test but uh, one problem would be in here is like we have to change the field type uh, to uh, integer
So, instead of total contacts, I would be making use of another field that is the contact count. Okay. Now, going back, our trigger is working. So now, if we check our data, so see, ton contact count has been set to four. Okay. See, the contact count is four because we have just updated from total contacts to contact count. So this is coming four. Total contact was also working fine. Uh, now what we are doing is uh, we are uh, removing uh, test so let us delete this so this is deleted now we shall refresh the page so see our contact count has also been updated to 3 so now what we would be creating is we would be working with another dummy account so uh, dummy account in here no contacts are there so what we are going to do is from burlington textiles we would be changing the account id to dummy account so now the contacts from here uh, it should reflect uh, one less and it should uh, reflect one extra so the contacts in here should be two and the contact count should also be two as we can see here and in the account in our dummy account the contact is one and the contact count is also one so i hope you understood the uh, importance and working of your aggregate queries and aggregate functions with the help of this trigger so i hope this trigger would help you uh, across your projects as well so with this we would be meeting in the next video thank you